So on this problem, what I'm going to want to do, okay, on this problem, what I'm going to want to do is now I need to I need to convert this. And we know the rule works. If I have 2 squared equals 2 to the x, I know x has to equal 2, right? You know they have to equal as long as they have the same base. But that only works when they have the same base. So don't come to me and say, oh, those cancel out. No, they don't cancel out. The only the property of, of exponents, of equality with exponents, only works when your bases are exactly the same. So then what I need to do is say, all right, can I rewrite 4 and 8 with the exact same base? And yes, you can. You could say 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. And I could say 8 is the same thing as 2 cubed. Now, before we finish the problem, we know that when we take an exponent and raise it to another exponent, we have to multiply and distribute with that. So therefore, it's really 2 to the 2 times 3x minus 3 equals 2 to the 3 times 4x minus 4. Now that my bases are equal to each other, they're not going to affect. Now, since my bases are equal to each other, I know the exponents have to be equal to each other. So I say 2 times 3x minus 3 equals 3 times 4x minus 4. Now we distribute by using the distributive property. And I get 6x minus 6 equals 12x minus 12. Now, huh? Well, it's 2 times negative 3. 2 times negative 3 would be negative 6. Now, I get the x's to the same side, so I subtract 6x. Then I do negative 6 equals 6x minus 12. Add 12. 6 equals 6x. Divide by 6, x equals 1. Got it? Cool. You guys still want me to do 5? Yeah. Yes?